Hi friends, this time I am Ariana who will read a story for you. The story this time is called Soki and Stubby. Listen to the story until it's finished. From where he sat on a tree, the lone chipmunk watched animals moving around below. Soki the chipmunk was searching for others with handsome stripes just like his own. But he didn't see anyone who looked exactly like his reflection in the still waters of the pond. That's okay, Soki thought. At least I've found some cousins. And he ran down the tree to join them. Skittering along the path, Soki first spotted a ground squirrel. She wore dark brown and tan stripes along her sleek brown back. Hello, greeted Soki. I'm happy to meet you, cousin. You don't look it, grump the ground squirrel. No wonder they call you Soki. You don't appear very friendly with all those dark stripes on your face. You look rather mean. And the ground squirrel scurried farther into the woods. Does my striped face look mean? Wondered Soki. Surely, his other cousins would feel differently. He scampered away and soon met a groundhog. Hello, said Soki. I'm happy to meet you. Doesn't seem like it, said the dull brown groundhog. You look anything but happy. Really? I feel glad. And we're cousins, you know, the chipmunk pointed out. That may be, but I want nothing to do with you, grouched the groundhog, waddling away. Suddenly, something stirred up ahead. Sulky caught sight of a wispy red squirrel's tail. Hello, said the hopeful chipmunk. I'm happy to meet you. I wouldn't have known it by looking at you, sassed the squirrel. If you want to be friendly, you need to look the part. But this is just how I look on the outside, cried Silky. My face has nothing to do with what I think and feel. Besides, we're cousins. Doesn't matter, answered the red squirrel. I spend time with those who look much nicer than you. With drooping ears, Silky the chipmunk headed toward his burrow. As he walked, an acorn caught Silky's eye. Guess I'll take it home to eat later, he thought. As he reached for the nut, Silky came nose to nose with another animal. Hesitating, he pulled back a bit to examine this new arrival. Light stripes decorated his face. And he was marked with dark stripes along his brown back and tie. Wait a minute. Where was the rest of his tail? I know exactly what you're thinking, chattered the other chipmunk. What happened to him, am I right? They call me Stubby because I lost part of my tail in an accident when I was just a little kid. Oh, I didn't notice, answered Silky. Thanks for your kindness, but it's the very first thing everyone sees. Then they get embarrassed and don't even try getting to know me. I understand perfectly. My cousins don't like these dark stripes on my face. They say I look mean and call me Silky. Looks aren't important, said Stubby. How we act should be what matters most. That's right. Silky agreed. And you can have this acorn. I think you probably arrived one paw length before I reached it. So polite of you, Stubby said, with a swish of his short tail. But here's a thought. Let's work together and gather acorns for both our homes. Great idea, answered Silky with happy eyes. The two chipmunks scurried about, filling their cheeks with acorns. Along the way, they also found time to race and play. They smiled beneath twitching whiskers when their cousins asked to join in the games. Thank you for listening this short story. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you.